So I thought perhaps we'd come back and explain to you, just so you all know, what instruments are actually in the band. So we have some volunteers down here, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, help us out with the instruments of the band. We're going to start over here at the bass end, the backbone of the band, ladies and gentlemen, the tuba section. Uh, Becca Michaels is a fourth year mechanical engineering student, and she is going to play us some tuba. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the tuba. <laughs> Next up, we have the really big trumpet, or if you prefer, the baritone. In the concert band setting, the euphonium is a, or a vertical instrument. Sound goes up. In the marching band, we flatten it out. We have a horizontal bell front instrument here, the marching baritone. Playing it for us today is Mr. Ian Hornberg, a linguistics and German fourth year player. Uh, and in his spare time, Ian also serves in the Army National Guard. This is Ian Hornberg and the baritone. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Moving on, an instrument that really needs no introduction because of the music man. Every marching band has to have trombone. 76 are the preferred number. We are getting close. Not quite there yet. We're working on it. Uh, playing the trombone for us today out of Texas is Amanda Schumann. She is a fourth year family sciences, family social science major. And here is, ladies and gentlemen, the slide trombone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Moving up, another instrument you don't usually see in the sit-down bands, as it were, but this is the marching version of what you know as a French horn, ladies and gentlemen. This is the mellophone, another bell front instrument that we've modified out of the concert world. And here to play the mellophone for you from Nebraska is Mr. Jackson McNeil, an Asian language and literature fourth year? Yes, fourth year. This is the mellophone. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Moving up to the high end of the brass. Yes, this is actually the trumpet, Billy. This is really the trumpet. Uh, and this is a perfect person to play, as I mentioned to people when I was first teaching junior high at a sixth grade student, heck of a trumpet player by the name of Matt Andreessen. I was trying to teach him how to double tongue. And he was saying, oh, this is hard, this is hard, this is hard. I said, Matt, all it takes is practice and perseverance and you'll get it, because this, after all, is not rocket science. This is the trumpet. Here to play the trumpet for you is fourth year aerospace engineering major, Mr. David Bursaw. This is the trumpet. <laughs> Sir. Now, sadly, there are marching bands in this country that don't like woodwinds. Thank you. Yes. We love woodwinds, ladies and gentlemen. We do have a strong woodwind section in this band. We have about 100 woodwind players in this band, about 160 brass, 30 percussion, and 22 on the color guard. Uh, and we start the bottom end of our, our woodwind section with the tenor saxophone, the low voice of our woodwind section. Mr. Chris Franz is here. He is a fifth year linguistics major, and he will play you the tenor saxophone. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Moving up the saxophone section to the smaller saxophone, the alto saxophone. We have 35 of them in the band this year. We have lots of alto saxophones, and they play quite well, led by Ms. Carly Herzog. She is a fifth year Spanish and mathematics education major. Ladies and gentlemen, the alto saxophone. <laughs> Moving up, and the instrument that my brother-in-law, who runs a uh, jazz ensemble up in Ithaca, New York, refers to as the Black Sticks of Death. <laughs> he plays it, he can call it whatever he wants. I call it the clarinet, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ryan Rosa, a fifth year finance major, and this is the clarinet. Thank you, sir.
Then last on Woodwind Row, I re never remember your major correctly, I'm sorry. Last on Woodwind Row, the flutes and the piccolos, the high end of the, vo of the, uh, the sound, the, the spice of the sound. And now in our great new stadium, you can hear them very well if you are up in the second level for sure. The flutes and the piccolos, and this is fourth year uh, business marketing and education major, uh, Danny Kreppel. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a piccolo. Ma'am. The last section of instrumentalist here in the band is the percussion section, and I learned a lesson early on when I was student teaching, when I was student teaching with the great, the late, great Paul Baumgarten out at Wilmer, Minnesota. Uh, Paul told me to make sure that you're never, when you're conducting, look down at your score for too long, because when you look up, the percussion section will be gone. <laughs> and I said, well, why is that? He says, who knows, they're drummers, but they will be gone. They'll come back the next day. So we like to set the band up so our drummers can actually get away. They're stuck in the middle of the band here. Uh, we have five that are gonna play for you today. We have Colin Johnson, a fifth year biology major on the sim, or fourth year, excuse me, fourth year biology major. Anna Dooley is a fifth year civil engineering major back here on the cymbals. We have Eric Richardson back there on the bass drums. He is a third year music education major. On the snare drum, a fourth year music education major, Mr. Eric Holland. And in between there, on the tenor drums, the fifth year music major, Mr. Isaac Sobzek. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the percussion section. Thank you, folks. And the beautiful thing about the band is you find out, ladies and gentlemen, that every voice is equally as important. I used to lament when I was coaching junior high basketball, I could only start five guys. When I was coaching high school baseball, I could start nine, but that was it. I have a marching band behind me, ladies and gentlemen, I have 315 people in the starting lineup. Every voice is equally as important as the next, and it's a great lesson for everyone to learn is how the voices come together and build something beautiful. And it doesn't matter if you're the third clarinet, the second alto saxophone, the first trumpet, the drum line, whatever, every voice is equally as important, and you can't build something special without. After all, would music be? If we just had a bass line, a drum track, and a melody, that's probably a hit song for Kanye West, now that I think about it. <laughs> Anyhow, we prefer music with a little more oomph to it here, ladies and gentlemen. The instruments of the band, we will build a song for you, and you can hear how each voice adds new color. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Minnesota Marching Band. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 